Welcome to Pinball Mayhem. This is Ed. Just give an update on the Frenzy Berserk Russian Attack project. Uh, I uh, removed all the side art. And uh, use, this is really sticky, a lot of heat. So what I had to do here was use a heat gun and I scraped it with a scraper. On a scraper like this. I ended up scraping it horizontally with the heat gun in front of it. And it took me a while. It's still sticky, so I'm going to have to use some chemical to get the uh, most of the adhesive off. You can't just sand these off because you're just going to gum up your sandpaper right away. And uh, so this has got to come off at least mostly before I sand it. I got to sand it. I got to fill it. You see a few spots. I got a little low through the paint, but I didn't gouge the wood from what I can tell. Not a big deal. <clears throat> On uh, the Russian attack, here as you can see, we're pulling the sticker off. Previously, whoever did it, it was not as old as it is now. It took off some of the orange paint and they just painted black over it. They didn't even fill it. They didn't do anything to it. The Russian attack sticker, here's the frenzy outline, uh, pulled off easier. The, the paint may not have stuck as well. The sticker was newer, thicker. Uh, one of them I actually posted a picture on uh, Facebook that uh, had the uh, pretty much um, almost one piece. So that was kind of fun. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... Uh, uh, this one took, uh, if you can pull it off by hand just by picking and pulling slowly, not down, but just straight up or even back up a little bit and just keep picking the speed spots that start ripping, you're going to get a uh, lot less adhesive, a lot less cleanup. So this probably has some adhesive. I'll probably rub it down before I do the other game with uh, whatever I use to take off the uh, adhesive, but it's going to... Uh, it, it's gonna actually speed up the work a little bit and here's the other side of the formerly Russian attack cabinet uh, and uh, My next step is going to be to Now I can slowly work on the adhesive. I don't have to rush because I'm not painting it yet But I want to get the insides of these ready to work on because I don't like gluing around dust and 30 40 year old dirt so um, I'm going to and this one's not bad. This is the one that's going to become uh, berserk frenzy. I'm going to end up taking this uh, sander here uh, Which is a square uh, finish sander. I got uh, some 100 sandpaper on I'm gonna use that and uh, I'm gonna wipe it down first I'm gonna use that just to hit anything just to take some dirt up. This one doesn't need much I just want to want to clean it a little bit. I'm not gonna go too hog wild probably just wipe down the sides get the bottom and uh, Get the edge here where it's kind of you know where there's holes and things fanned out But now I'm not gonna go too too out of the ordinary just make this one clean this one needs a little bit more you can see I did some more vacuuming and scraping there's some dirt and crud on the back here uh, so I'm gonna make sure I hit that real good and uh, make sure it's clean before I start gluing so like I said I don't want that stuff to get into these gaps when I uh, when I glue it I also removed the screen from the bottom it was just house screen with a few staples so I'm gonna just gonna allow me to clean underneath here real good um, and uh, once I get it cleaned, wiped down, uh, cleaned, uh, then I can finally start my uh, my gluing, which is going to be a long-term process. That's why I want to lay it on its back uh, or start gluing like here. I want to start gluing what I can. I want to lay it down on its back, glue up and rebuild the bottom and make new backs. Uh, and um, at uh, that time I'll be, you know, be able to have time to work on these stickers. That, uh, it did take me over an hour to get <laughs> all four stickers off. And you can see there's some damage down there I'm going to have to repair. I'll show you how I repair that. It's not going to be 100% Bondo. I want to do a little bit better job um, so that when it gets banged around or moved in the future, it doesn't uh, fall apart on you. And you see this one, someone has some nylon feet on there. We'll be pulling those off. Uh, so uh, please stay tuned. Uh, hopefully I uh, got even some more improvements for tomorrow. Thank you. Make sure to follow us on uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram.